Back at it today. Today we're taking a nice, perfectly good piece of lumber and that's half inch. We're cutting down to half by one eighth and that's what we end up with. I've got the table saw set at an eighth of an inch there and I've already made a lot of sawdust. So what we're doing today are the little lattice pieces that go across the wing. So I've got them all cut to size for the first direction. We glue those up and then we put them all another set coming back in the opposite direction so that they cross and they reinforce the strength of that wing. Um, not much to say about that, just a lot of little cuts to make to get it to fit just right in there. So I'll start gluing up those and clamping them into position. That'll be the job for today and it's amazing one little job like putting in that lattice. I don't know how long it's going to take someone that builds from a kit, but when you're building from plants and you have to machine each little piece of wood down and then fitting it and cutting it will all be uh, the same. You'll have to do that on the other one on the kit built as well, but machining that down, that takes a lot of time. Next thing I've been wondering is about putting in a landing light somewhere. I uh, haven't given it a lot of thought yet, but before we finish the wings, uh, I'm going to put one in along there somewhere. And I'm not sure what anyone else has done, if they put landing lights built into the leading edge. As the plywood wraps around there, it makes a nice curve. I can see cutting that out and having some Lexane or some sort of plexiglass wrapped around there and then an LED or some sort of light mounted in there. So uh, if anyone's got some suggestions there or an example of what they've done, I'd be interested in seeing that. In the meantime, I'm going to mix up some glue and start gluing all these little pieces of wood into place and I'll see if we can get that done today and see how far we get. And just a little addendum to that. I've cut all these so that they they fit in there fairly nicely. I have to say that that purchase was the best thing if you guys are cutting a little band saw to make all of those little cuts makes quick work of that. That's probably the most used tool so far. Uh, that the table saw, the belt disc sander, and for those who are building from scratch, the thickness planer. Those are the things you're going to use the most. Uh, chop saw is handy, but even just a regular circular saw or the table saw will do what that can do. But again, planer, band saw, table saw, and a little belt sander. And my little uh, dust collection thing has been working really well for me. I've dumped it a couple times now. I don't have anything in the big uh, shop vac, but I've dumped a couple of those buckets already. So that thing really works like a charm and it doesn't cost anything to make really and it's a real hack job, but man, it sure saves the old uh, shop vac bags. That's for sure. However many clamps you have, buy more clamps because you're going to need them.